Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to Amela Shane's Corner. You know it's your girl Shanique and today we'll be talking about knowing yourself. <laughs> knowing yourself has a different definition and it means something different to everyone. For me, it means that I can consciously think freely, I can, ex I can exercise my freedom of choice, I can differentiate good from bad, I know what my favorite colors are, I know what I like and what I dislike. And no one can tell me, no one can tell me anything about myself that I don't already know. I don't live in denial, so there's nothing anyone tells me about myself that I, I don't think I already know. But I mean, how people see you externally and how people see you, or how you see yourself is two different things. And I mean, people, external voices are not always right. Um, let's get into <laughs> knowing yourself knowing yourself is crucial to how you survive if you do not know yourself best believe that you will be easily influenced by outside forces when you know yourself you stand up for what you believe in you will not be easily drifted away with the wind. I mean, in my teenage years, I didn't know myself as well as I do now. So <laughs> for me, I, I learned about myself since growing up. You know, I remember when I was younger, there was this one person that said to me, you know, you're never going to be this or you're never going to be that. And I thought that defined me. And he, um, I, I'm not <laughs> touching on it. So you're, you can assume whatever you want to assume it is. But um, I thought I had let that define me for such a long time. And then I was so fearful of becoming more than I actually could be. My, what I have to say to you guys is, um, let no one's words define who you are, right? When you know yourself, it, it, well, it's, it's, it's a part of knowing yourself, right? When you know yourself, you're not easily deterred by anybody, right? You, you know what you stand for like i repeated that before <laughs> and there's nothing anyone can really say to you to kill your vibe you know if you're a vibe let me i'm a vibe there's nothing no one can really ever say to me to make me go i'm a failure not anymore not anymore one one once i used to be like that but not anymore. I'm. I think I'm cool now. I think I'm cool. Y'all don't have to think I'm cool. I think I'm cool. But oh my god, I'm happy. I have gum in my mouth. I just realized. But I'm sorry. I'm not taking it out for y'all. Sorry. Funny fact about knowing yourself is that you learn about yourself every single day. So if someone should walk up to you and say, oh, I know this girl. No, like for me, if someone should walk up to me and say, I know this girl. Honey, no, you don't. Because the Shanique you knew last week is not the Shanique this week. Okay. I keep evolving. I keep evolving over here. Right? <laughs> so... I spend most of my days now, you know, after a long day, I journal and I reflect on not the could haves because I mean, 
whatever was meant to happen in the day it did happen so i don't like be like oh i should have done this i should have no i did what god allowed me to do in that 24 hours that i was given right and if i didn't do something it's because well probably a reason why i shouldn't have done it it's a crazy way to look at life but i have my own views i'm entitled to have my own views um and that's a part of knowing yourself also you're free to have your own views knowing yourself means that you can have your own views and stick with it right you don't have to like bend to other people's views it's okay to share a perspective or give a listening ear to a perspective that is outside of your own which is smart sometimes you should actually um i think it's smart that you actually listen to others and i was speaking about reflecting when you reflect you learn so much about yourself i in my reflecting i've learned that i procrastinate a lot so what i do now is to avoid procrastination even to make this video i procrastinated a little a bit um i just made up my mind and be like you know what it's better i do it get it out of the way and then i can relax because i like to relax i love to relax a lot <laughs> I'm a pro relaxer. Yeah. What I do now is I just work on if something's important, I do it right away so I can so I, I've learned that about myself. So I find ways to fix the stuff about myself that I don't really necessarily like or it, and remember, it's okay to have stuff about yourself that you don't like. It's okay to have stuff about yourself that you... I'm not saying it's okay to have regrets. Have no regrets. However, it's okay to wish you had done something differently. But what it's what is not okay if you keep repeating the same patterns repeatedly hoping to get a different result right so know yourself enough to have discipline right discipline is <sighs> discipline is hard man discipline is hard especially when you've been doing the same stuff for years and years and years and years and years and years and years or weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks discipline is hard man but I believe in this. If you want something really, really bad, if you want to change badly, you will change. Right? So, knowing yourself means that one, you have discipline, two, is not letting anybody well i don't know if i'm telling it in the right order but not letting anybody break your spirit because you know who you are you know what you like you know what you want you know what your goals are right three well i've been listing out a lot of stuff <laughs> so let me stop listing another point is when you know yourself you love yourself differently and the body you are given when you know yourself this body this one body that you are given you tend to take a lot more care of it yep you take a lot of care of it because you know yourself you know what you want you know what you stand for you start taking care of the one body that god gave you to enjoy this human experience right and i hope you like this video <laughs> you 
and share it. Comment what you think. That's it for today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Um, make sure that y'all take time out of your day to reflect. Um, remember, life is a journey. We're all on this journey. Stay safe. Bye-bye.